What does the ancient tale of an old magical cup have anything to do with finances? Let me explain. If you've ever heard about the Holy Grail, you know it's one of the oldest stories in human history. According to religion and myth, the Holy Grail is described as the cup or bowl that Christ apparently drank from during the Last Supper, which is described in the Bible. Legends say that the Grail has supernatural powers, including granting eternal life to those who drink from it. Now, I'm not a religious person, but this is a fantastic story. And it's also made for some great modern comedy storytelling as well. <laughs> Not the knights who say nee. But how on earth does this relate to finances, Sorel? Well, we can debate whether the Holy Grail is real or not, but I think the thing that we can all settle on as truth is that the Holy Grail has become a symbol for being the most valuable item in the world. You've probably heard it yourself, the words the Holy Grail being used to describe anything that's really awesome. And when it comes to finances, there is one thing that is known to be the Holy Grail of finances, and that is learning to make money while you're sleeping. And so this is what we're focusing on in this video. There are a ton of ways that you can truly make money when you're sleeping. Some of these include investments, online business, stocks that pay you dividends, cash deposits, earning interests, and more. Just in advance, this is gonna be quite a broad video. It's not gonna be going into too much detail on anything in particular in this point. It's more of a guideline video in order to give you an overview. But of course, if there's anything that you want expanded on further, if you want any more specific information on an area, do let me know down in the comments below. So uh, let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome to my temporary bedroom. <laughs> The first way I make money is basically responsible for the vast majority of my income that I make. And I'm gonna pull this all together and call it my digital product sales. But I also like to call it the things that help me to sleep and grow rich. And I'm also gonna show you my very simple three-step formula in order for you to replicate my success. There are many things in this category, but they all basically help me earn money in the exact same way. We have things such as my online course sales or my finance and freedom membership. There are my presets that are for sale that help people take better photos. And I also have downloadable PDFs or templates that people can use in order to enhance their own business. Now, these are very different products that I create digitally. However, they all have something very similar in common. And that is that I created the product in advance and then people can use and buy this product at any point in time, whether I am asleep, awake, working or not working. For me, the main way that I make my income is through this three-step process that hopefully you can replicate in order to have success for yourself. And that process is Step one, create a digital product that helps people solve a problem. Step two, create interesting content online related to the niche your product is in. Step three, in the free content you create, direct people to your paid products. When you learn to master this, you're gonna have people in any time zone, basically in any nation, that will be able to find you at any point in the day. And it doesn't matter whether you're working or not, you potentially can have people buying your products 24 seven. Sounds simple, doesn't it? <laughs> well, if it was so simple, wouldn't everybody be doing this? And for me, there is just one very simple answer to this. Um, people just kind of suck at consistency. I have come across so many people that have started either a YouTube channel or a podcast or a blog or a website or anything else really. And within weeks or months, they completely stop. They come into it with so much excitement and dedication and then silence. <laughs> and you have probably done it yourself in your life. I've done it with many other skills as well. And obviously, if you don't create the consistency and you don't have enough content going out there, high quality content, then there's not going to be enough information out there about you and your product in order for people to actually find you at any time of day. Now, when it comes to being consistent, I honestly don't think it's about being a total machine and pumping out 17 blog posts a day or 300 podcasts every week. <laughs> the reality is that you probably have a full-time job and for you you only have a very limited amount of time that you can create maybe one piece of content because you really want your side hustle to become your full-time job and if that is all you can do that's super fine what is more important is that you create the piece of content like it's a habit eventually when you learn to be consistent there is going to be enough stuff floating around out there in the internet soup that more people will be able to find you and the more people that are able to find you the more people will hear 
clear about your paid product as well. Now, I wanna make it clear that I can see so many of you rolling your eyes saying, oh, another YouTuber telling me to become a YouTuber and it might not be your cup of tea. I get it and you don't have to be a YouTuber. That is an amazing thing about the world that we live in these days and the myriad of ways you can actually be making money online. So the other ways of people finding your paid content could be through creating content in the form of podcasts, photo content, audio content, written word in things like blogs, long form content articles, and so on. You basically have to find a channel that you resonate with and that you're good at, and then just go for gold on that channel. Because if you hate being in front of the camera and you initially put yourself in front of the camera because you think that this is gonna work, if you hate it, you're not gonna be consistent with it. You're gonna drop off. Initially, you might have that drive, but at some point you're gonna realize how much you dislike doing it and you're gonna stop. Because also things get a little bit hard in the content creation side of things. It's not always sunshine and rainbows. So that's why you wanna choose something that you really enjoy doing. Maybe it's podcasting or written articles, something that you know you can take the time to also learn to be better at it because this is something you have to consistently get better at doing until you crack the code and have lots of people watching in and tuning in to your content. So let's move on to the next way of how I make money whilst I catch some Z's. Before I move on to teaching you the next way of how I make money while I sleep, I would love it and appreciate it so much if you just threw in a simple like. The next way that I earn money while I sleep is through investments. Now, generally speaking, an investment is anything that you put your money into and then it pays you a certain amount back. And very generally speaking, most investments, you don't really need to do anything at all. You just have to put the money up front and then it will be paying you back. You can think about it like putting money in a bank account and earning interest off that, or say you will buy some stocks in a company and then it pays you dividends every quarter or every year. Now it's possible that you might not be earning that much money from these kinds of investments unless you made a really good decision and bought Bitcoin in 2010. <laughs> Alternatively, if you put a lot of money up front into these investments, but as a summary, you will be making money while you sleep, which is the whole aim of the game. Although there are millions of people getting paid through dividends from investing in companies, whether directly or through shares, this isn't something that I wanna talk about, simply because I don't do it. It's not that it doesn't work, it's just that I don't do it myself. Let's talk about holding your money in a bank account though, because the majority of people around the world do this. They put their cash in a bank and they're like, woo. <laughs> but there are some serious problems that are associated with holding money in a bank. The first thing is you are not gonna be earning a lot of interest when you have money in a bank because most banks just don't pay you a whole ton. In the United States, the highest interest rate you can really get in a bank is 0.55%. And in most developed countries in the world, it doesn't really get much better than this. In places like Australia or Germany, you might get up to 1.5% on your investment. But earning low interest rates on your money is just the first part of the problem. Then we're looking at things such as inflation. Due to inflation actually being higher than the interest rate that you earn from a bank account, it means that your money that is sitting in the bank is essentially being devalued year on year as long as it is sitting in the bank. For example, in the US in 2019, the inflation rate was 1.81%. But of course, most banks were paying much less interest than this. So essentially you are paying in order to hold your money with the bank. Now I bet you can probably figure out that I don't have a lot of money sitting in my own bank accounts simply because it's like a strategy of throwing a steak to a lion and then expecting the lion to throw back a bigger steak. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. And that is the same reality as your money growing whilst it's sitting in a bank account. It's just not gonna happen. Thankfully though, there are much better ways in order for you to stash your money rather than sitting in a traditional bank. With BlockFi, for example, you are able to earn up to 9% of interest on your deposit. Even better, if you join with the link in the description, BlockFi will give you up to $250 worth of free Bitcoin for deposits over $100. In my opinion, this is a much better strategy in order to make the money work for you and for you to make money while you're sleeping. This is just one way that decentralized finance or DeFi is shaking up the modern bank banking system and taking money out of the major banks. But more importantly, it's meaning that more control is being placed into people's hands and they're not just settling for anything that is out there. This is power to the people and I'm all for it. <laughs> Another way that I make money while I sleep is through real estate. 
rentals. So I am a property investor. I've always wanted to be one in the last two years or so. It definitely has become a major focus of mine. At the time of recording, I control 11 dwellings. And in the last few weeks, I actually acquired uh, two more personally and then four with Leon, my partner. So I'm yeah, sitting at controlling 11 dwellings, which is very exciting. And it's a really big focus of mine now. Yes, there's a lot to think about when you are investing in real estate. Obviously, accumulating enough wealth in order to put a deposit down on the house initially is a big thing but then there's also property management fees there's insurances which is the household insurance as well as the landlord insurance there are very high costs associated with maintenance but overall I still really love this strategy because not only is it a short-term gain but it can also be a long-term gain because short-term there's a tenant and they're renting out the space and then you just get paid month in and month out which is really really awesome but in the long term if you invest smart the price growth of your property is most likely going to increase as well so that is your advantage as well whilst this strategy might not be for everyone because people want a faster and higher return investment this one is super stable for me and i'm a really really big fan of this investment strategy lastly here are a few other things that make me money while i catch some z's <laughs> Things like YouTube ad revenue or minor affiliate sales from things that I recommend on my main YouTube channel or this one here. The thing is though, I don't really wanna to focus too much on this right now in this video because I know a lot of people don't wanna be YouTubers or to be selling affiliate stuff. But despite this, I do believe that everybody, just about, has more knowledge than 90% of humans in a particular topic area. So that's why I really do believe that the simple three-step process that I described up above on content creation and selling digital products is really relevant for a lot of people so I hope you look into that and consider that for yourself but for those that are interested in the YouTube side of things there will be a video coming soon on how that world works how to make it work for you and also breaking down exactly how much I earn from that jumping on that youtuber bandwagon of disclosing how much money we make on YouTube <laughs> All right, well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video has inspired you in some ways to figure out how you could also do this for yourself because honestly, making money while you sleep is the holy grail. It is incredible and I'm not special. I didn't come from any special background. So you guys can do this for yourself as well. It takes time to work it out, but it is possible. So if you like this video, please make sure that you like, subscribe, comment. Your engagement is very important for us. So I hope you take the time to press that little like button or subscribe also we have that banging newsletter that i recommend you subscribe to lots of people rave about it and finally use the code youtube at checkout in order to get 20 percent off our finance and freedom membership join our awesome crew of people that are invested in making this finance and freedom journey a reality for themselves and i look forward to seeing you in the next one